Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? Boston Arts Academy, together as one, remembers the lost lives of our Black sisters and Black brothers. Clifford Grover, Brandy Evans, Yvonne Smallwood, Emma Diallo, Oscar Brandt, Trayvon Martin, Jonathan Farrell, Jordan Davis, Ayanna Jones, Eric Garner. There's a place where we don't have to be alone. Amir Rice, Walter Scott, Freddie Gray, Daniel Cruz. I can't breathe, Sandra Blair. I can't breathe, Corey Jones. I can't breathe, Alton Sterling. I can't breathe, Philando Castillo. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Eliza McLean. I can't breathe. Jordan Edwards. I can't breathe. Dominique Clayton. I can't breathe. 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 Pamela Taylor. I can't breathe. George.
passing through When you need someone to carry you When you're broken on the ground So let's let's talk about musical theater. Yeah, um, this is the first year that, that the Boston Arts Academy is is offering musical theater as an elective. It's really one of the the first times where we're having a bunch of different majors come together in one class and uh, discover and explore art. So I'm curious what it was like from your perspective as students taking musical theater all year. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can go first. Do you want to go first? No. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I was, it's so interesting. Like, it's always been funny to me that BAA doesn't have musical theater because we have so many people who are, like, talented across majors and we don't do a ton of, like, interdisciplinary work. So I was really excited um, when I found this out. I remember posting about it and a lot of alumni were like, oh my God, finally, like, the year I leave, they have musical theater. But, um, yeah, I think for me it was interesting because I was in Memphis my sophomore year, which was like such an interesting experience because it was the first time for me singing and like in the musicals, they don't, like because it's a performing arts high school, they're kind of like, okay, here's your music. Like we're just dropping you into the deep end and you gotta kind of figure out how to swim. Um, but this was really cool because it felt like it took it a few steps back and I felt like I got some like really valuable like skills that I can actually like implement. Um, in the future. So yeah, I, I've, I've really liked this class. What about you? Oh, well for me, um, I, I love theater. I'm a theater major. Um, but I don't know, I when I came to BAA, I was a little, obviously I was excited I got into theater, but I was a little disappointed because I felt like maybe I won't be able to do music again, or maybe I won't be able to dance as often as I used to. But I think the musical theater elective really gave me that space to still be able to do the other art forms that I really love, mm -hmm. which was really great. Um, I love theater and I love acting, but I also love singing just as much. And I also <laughs> love dancing just as much. So it was great. And working with like amazing people like Mr. Gibbons, Mr. Velli, Mr. Mitchell. I know, like, I forgot to talk about yeah, dance. Like they, yeah. it was also amazing yeah. to be able to work with like people who are actually in the field doing it too. You know, Mr. Mitchell's like, he's like not too far from our age, yeah, you know, actually. and he's out here doing it. So it was, it was a great experience, I think. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Um, you're both theater majors. And like you said, you both, it's kind of, um, you both sing, yes. But what was it like really digging in as a theater major in when we were discussing music or when we were doing dance, right? Because mm. musical theater in its art form is dance, music, and acting, right? So I would love to hear from your perspective as theater majors, as fourth year theater majors, um, what is it been like for you to experience all three at the same time and really take that art form and explore that from that perspective. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I mean, I was like dance specifically, like Mr. Mitchell would do dance with us every Wednesday. And I like, Kishana knows this, I came into this school and like, if someone asked like, could you sing? I would be like, like if you ask me to sing in an audition, I won't cry. Like I'll like, I can, I, I'm okay. But like dancing, like don't make me dance, like don't make me dance. And throughout the years doing classes, like Mr. Bingus class and stuff, I've gotten more comfortable with it. But like, I still never felt like I was gonna be like looking forward to a dance class, which is what ended up happening for me. Like Mr. Mitchell on Wednesdays, it was like the highlight of my week, just dancing in my room. It just made me so happy. And it was so cool to like do that with other people, even though it was virtually. Yeah, so I really enjoyed it. I, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I feel similar similarly. I also feel like it was a great opportunity to like get the seniors to like help learn from each other. Like I think it was really great learning like mm -hmm. different music st strategies from like Zarelli. Yeah, Zarelli. Shout out Zarelli. Um, you know, it was fun <laughs> to be able to work with the other seniors, um, especially since we're gonna be leaving and we're gonna be doing this now. Um, so I thought it was great to be able to learn from them. Uh, things that I didn't even know because I've I've done music before, but I was like, I don't I'm not good at sight reading So yeah. really come help me learn how to sight read, you know, so that was really great and not just from seniors Like yeah. just to piggyback like I remember when we went into breakout rooms and we had like storytelling assignments But we also had to like think about the music of it And I just remember it being so funny because I was like working with a junior and like the idea of beats an objective was so foreign to them and they were really nervous about it. But I was like, dude, like, you know what these little symbols mean. Right. Like, I have no idea what these mean. <laughs> like, okay, up, down. That's about as far as I get, you know what I mean? So yeah, it was really cool, like sharing that with people. Cool, and really quick for both of you, what it, do you feel after having this class after last year, would you feel confident in auditioning for a musical? Yeah. 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 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. Okay. Fun. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. And we'll oh, it's still going. <laughs> things I could do. I could flirt with all the guys. Smile at them and bat my eyes. Press against them when we dance. Make them think they stand a chance. Then refuse to see that's a thing I'd never do I could stay home every night Wait around for Mr. Right Take cold showers every day And throw my life away On a dream that won't come true I Out of spite or jealousy I don't steal and I don't lie But I can feel and I can cry In fact, I'll bet you never knew To cry in front of Jasmine and I am a senior theater major. Um, the process of musical theater this year was very challenging at times. Um, it's something I have a passion for and something I've been doing for a while so it was easy to get adjusted but of course, before COVID, you're doing theater and musical theater in person and you're feeding off of people's energy. And that's something that we just weren't able to do this year. Well, I wasn't able to do this year because I was remote all year. So um, it was definitely hard to have that give and take through um, through my peers and everything like that. So um, 
that made it difficult but Mr. Veli and Mr. Gibbons and my peers definitely made it easy because they were open and um, we were all very helpful to each other um, and created beautiful art. <laughs> um, working with other majors this year was really exciting. Um, working with vocalists was intimidating at first because I'm singing and I'm insecure about my singing. And I was like, oh my gosh, these vocalists have been singing for four years and they're so beautiful when they sing. And I was just so nervous about it, but um, they definitely made it easy by not being judgy and just knowing that everyone is in this together and we're all working together and in the same boat. And so that made it very easy and took the pressure off my shoulders. Um, so yeah. I don't plan on doing musical theater in the future, um, but it's definitely something I still hold close to my heart and that I love and will forever love. Um, I definitely am thankful for this experience, to have this experience at the end of my high school career. Um, it was great to experience the dancing aspect of musical theater and dance again and the sing aspect and sing again and act like it was just it was all the things that I love combined this year and although it was a little hard because I was isolated um, people still made it an open environment and still had great energy that made it easier so yeah <laughs> If I were truly to be myself, I would break my family's hearts. Who is that girl I see staring straight back at me? Why is my reflection? Jesus Galarza. I am an 11th grade music vocal major in BAA. Hi Jesus. Um, so this is the first year that music theater has been introduced to Boston Arts Academy. What's your process been like? Uh, my process was was very good. Like um, I'm very passionate about my uh, my talent, my uh, uh, in music, singing, and then I got a hint of uh, of acting. So it was actually pretty great for me trying new things. Uh, and mixing those two together, which is a very great uh, experience for me. So yeah, I enjoyed the process. So were there any challenges that you had when, you know, encountering music and dancing? Any struggles? Yeah, uh, uh, there was a bit. Like, uh, there was times when I overthink, like, this has to be perfect. Does it not? Does it have to be like this, like that? Am I missing any steps for, like, the dancing, of course? But the thing is that I always have this uh, adrenaline or, like, a thing in my head that, like, I told myself that I'm very passionate to do this, to get stuff done, and to, again, try new things, like, and I haven't danced for a while, so, and I enjoyed dancing, so I tried it out, and then apparently I enjoyed it, of, of showing it to other people, then, especially with acting and singing, like, I was doing well with that, so yeah, it was, it was, it was really great. 
So you mentioned dancing a lot. How was it for you? I think it was fun for you, like you said, but were there any challenges, any enjoyments? Yeah, uh, so the challenges were is that it was online, obviously, because of COVID-19. But like uh, it, when we were doing the warm-ups and all that stuff, it, that's what I used to do as well. When I was young, I felt like I was like my nine-year-old self again. So yeah, I pretty I, I was really enjoying uh, that time when we were doing choreography. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That was good. Do you know what it's like to feel so in the dark? To dream about a light you're the shining Hi, Ani. Um, Ani, I have uh, my first question for you is this is the first time that musical theater has been offered as an elective here at Boston Arts Academy. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious if you could tell us a little bit more about your experience in the class as a music major working with other majors in the school. Um, well, it's been a pretty interesting and great experience because I have gotten to work in breakout rooms since this is online with different majors such as theater majors. Um, there are things that we could learn off of each other and that's kind of what I got from it. I was able to help some theater majors work on their you know, music notes because they're not as experienced with that stuff. And they were able to help me on how to connect with the songs, how to convey emotion better because that's their area of expertise. Um, it was also great, the dance portion, the fact that we were able to do it online. We had a whole choreographer come in and help us out. I really enjoyed that. Um, I guess it kind of lifted my spirits because hearing that we were going to do musical theater online, it didn't sound very interesting to me because, you know, I, I didn't think, like, I was confused, like, how are we going to get it done? But, you know, we've made it this far and we've come such a long way and, um, yeah. Um, if you can name one thing that you're going to take away from this class as you enter your senior year. I'm going to take away like the whole learning experience of it because there are times where I did feel discouraged and then there were times where I pulled myself back up together and I know this is probably like a once in a lifetime thing because next year things might be back to normal and we might all be together and doing this all online was a very eye-opening experience. I don't, yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, so after leaving this course, um, would you feel a little bit more confident in maybe auditioning for a musical someday? I would, I would. Um, I think this course has really wanted, has really allowed me to gain more interest in the theater aspect because I'm a music major so you know I'm used to the singing part but like you guys work on theater majors work on monologues and stuff like that and they memorize it really quickly and they put a lot of hard work into that so I feel like that's something I'd be interested in doing. Great it was wonderful having you in class I look forward to you as a senior it's very exciting thanks for
for taking the time to chat with me. No problem. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Kevin, and I am a junior music major at the Boston Arts Academy. Hi, Kevin. So this is the first time that this is being offered, and I would like to know what are some experiences that you've gained from your time in musical theaters now that it's combined with all these different majors? I think I've learned a lot this year, you know, how having to learn how to record at home, having to understand the struggles of how to record, as well as sort of watching my surroundings and thinking about how it affects other peoples in other majors. And when you talk about like some struggles that you have, do you mind sharing one challenge that you had to overcome during your time? Of course. So one struggle that I had personally was that at home there weren't many chances to record, but of course this was due to COVID-19. So it was challenging to find a time as well as a space for me to record, but in the end we got there. And is there something that you will take away from this whole experience? I think I've just learned that when you put your mind to it, you can really do anything. Having a record was a different experience. Thank you for your time, Kevin. Thank you for having me. What's wrong with me? My body, face, my hair. Tell me all my many faults. Tell me like you care when we both know you're cool. And we both know you're right. I can listen to you like a fool all night. What's wrong with me? How I speak, how I dress. What's wrong with me? You keep me guessing. Mama called me beautiful, don't believe her anymore. Now I'm listening to you. What do I do that for? Please don't ignore me. What's wrong with with me what can I do what's wrong with me could it be you it's probably me see that you see what's wrong with me Do you 
Um, hi, my name is Jarrell White. I am a senior vocalist at Boston Arts Academy. Um, for my last two years, I was a vocal jazz major, um, and I will be going to Berklee College of Music 
um, where I'll be majoring in directing and vocal jazz. Awesome. Okay. So, um, as you know, this was the first year that we did musical theater this year. Mm -hmm. um, what was that experience like for you being among the first group of students to be able to take this elective at BAA? Yes. Um, it, was a, it was a process. Um, you know, I've had fun moments and I was able to get emotional and vulnerable in a lot of other moments. I was able to learn um, how to express instead of just singing. Um, that was a very hard thing for me to do because sometimes I don't like to get emotional when I'm singing, but I realized that it's important to get emotional when singing because that brings out the authenticity of my performance, so. Okay. So you mentioned that um, emotion is, is something that you're learning to um, take from the musical theater class um, mm -hmm. into singing in general. Yeah. What else do you think you're gonna be taking into um, your future going to Berkeley? Um, do you think that you're gonna take musical theater again? Like, do you think you're gonna continue to go on that path? Or? I think that if the opportunity were to come up, I would try, you know. Um, for a long time, I, I had lost my passion for musical theater, um, but this class really revived that feeling. Um, and I would try. I would try because in performing, it's not just one singular thing. Um, and I realized that it gets more fun when you, you know, act. You know, sometimes it's good to act and it's good when people know that you're acting. Um, it brings out another vibe whenever you're performing. Like, you know, I can sing and then, you know, add a little bit of, you know, comedy to it. Comedy, it's great, so. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. A dream, a dream, time gone by. When hope was high and life was living. I dream. Yeah. 
There's nothing rich folks love more than going downtown and slumming it with the poor. They pull up in their carriages and go up at the students in the colleges to watch them talk. Take Philip Schuyler, the man is loaded. Uh-oh, but little does he know that his daughters, Peggy, Angelica, Eliza, slip into the city just to watch all the guys. Work, work, Angelica. Work, work, Eliza. And Peggy, the Schuyler sister. Angelica, Peggy. Eliza. Work, daddy said to be home my son down. Daddy doesn't need to know. Daddy said not to go downtown Like I said, you're free to go But look around, look around The revolution's happening in New York New York Angelica, work It's been after daddy wants to go to war Shouting in the square It's been after we violence on our shore No ideas in the air Look around, look around Angelica, remind me what we're looking for I'm looking for a mine at work, work. I'm looking for a mine at work, work. I'm looking for a mine at work, work. Whoa, 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 work. work. Ooh, there's nothing like someone in the city. Someone in the rush next to someone looking pretty. Excuse me, miss, I know it's not funny, but your perfume smells like your daddy's got money. Why you slumming in the city in your fancy heels? You searching for an urchin who could give you ideas. Burr, you disgust me. Ah, so you disgust me. I'm a trust fund, baby. You could trust me. I've been pretty common sense by Thomas Paine. Some men say that I'm intense, so I'm insane. You want a revolution, I want a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We hold these truths to be self-evident. That I'm gonna create equal. And when I meet Thomas Jefferson, I'm a compound to include women in the sequel. Work! Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now. History is happening in Manhattan, and we just happen to be in the greatest city in the world. In the greatest city in the world. You stumble through your days, got your head hung low, your sky's a shade of gray, like a zombie in a maze. You're asleep inside, but you can shake away, cause you're just a dead man walking, thinking that's your only option. But you can flip the switch and brighten up your darkest days. Sun is up and the color's blinding. Take a while to redefine it Leave behind, you'll never mind She'll never be the same Come alive, come alive Go alive, show a light Let it burn so bright Need you love to the sky And it's open when you're electrified And the world becomes a fantasy And you're more than you could ever be Cause you're dreaming with your eyes wide open and you know you can't go back again to the world that you were living in Cause you're dreaming with your eyes wide open So come alive I see it in your eyes You believe that lie 